everybody. Okay, we're gonna try and make lumen prints today, even though it's not super sunny, but we'll see what we can come up with. I wanna show you what all we've got to work with. It's kind of random. It's just stuff we kind of could find in the fridge. We've got some pasta that's molding, so we're gonna use that, make art from it. We've got some grapes here, some soda water, some salt, uh, my leftover coffee from this morning. This is an essential oils spray, but it's in a spray bottle, so that's gonna apply differently. We'll see what happens there. I've also got some uh, collard greens. It's also kind of turning brown. And then we've got some other little plants here, some lemons. Um, we're gonna put some of this in a contact frame. And if you don't have a contact frame, which you probably don't, you can always use a normal picture frame. Just flatten your paper and the objects in between the best you can. This one's gross, I'm not going to use this one, but I'm going to use this one. So I have some transparency also, just in case. We'll see if I can use that. Got my photo paper. And then I have a tray for the stuff that's going to be all liquidy just to contain it. Then I've got my fancy little tripod here and mount, and I'm gonna see if I can get some time-lapse footage of it as well. So I have no idea how these are gonna turn out. We may have to come back on a sunnier day, but we're gonna get started for now. Also, we're gonna to have to load our paper in the print frames in darkness is best if we can. So I'm gonna take that inside, get that loaded up, and come back with it already set up in the print frame. So we'll be right back and we'll get things started.
this is the big reveal. Now, you can either rinse it if you want to, to get some of that extra gunk off of it, or you don't have to, um, but then you're gonna wanna let it dry. And then probably scan it to preserve some of the color because it will keep changing. That looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this did anything. I kinda had to finagle it to get the glass to stay down because of this spaghetti so who knows and this frame was dirty but I decided to use it last minute are you all ready for this <laughs> you see it there we go got a little bit of blue some pink um, I'm gonna rinse this and then I'm gonna scan it in and I'll probably make some adjustments with this once I scan it in Okay, we just brought these in from outside. These two are on RC paper, uh, which might uh, you know, make a difference with the way the paper reacts to the kind of acids and the fruit and stuff. Um, oh, that turned out cool. So this is what we have here. Now these weren't out for as long. Um, but that turned out pretty cool. You can see where it was in contact with the paper. But these weren't outside for near as long as the others. Um, so we can rinse those. Let's see what the oranges did. Some interesting little details there, huh? And then that was from the container. So now it's gonna run. Um, but let's see here. I'll go ahead and rinse some of that material off. And then I'm gonna store these while they dry in the dark um, so that it won't continue to be exposed to light and they can maybe keep some of those colors. And then as they dry, I'll scan them in. Um, let's see what else we have from earlier today. Uh, there's the other pasta one I did. I guess I shouldn't have poured the entire thing in coffee. You know what I mean? You can see that, let's see. There's the coffee filter. That one turned out kind of cool. You can see where the coffee itself was and where the filter was and then where some of that oil was sprayed and other liquids. So that one turned out actually pretty good. Let's see. Oh, look at this crazy thing. There's a banana in there. So a lot of this is because of the quality of the light. If we had a lot of bright direct sunlight, we would have gotten even more of the pink, but instead we got more of the blue. So you can see the things that were on there longer or got added last. So uh, these were in direct contact with the paper and then none of this was. So kind of some uh, crazy stuff there, some ugly colors. Um, but on a different day, we could get some pinks or even some yellows. So uh, that's it for now. I look forward to seeing what you guys come up with. If you have any questions, let me know.